Hello, and welcome to Rock Hill Block, where we highlight individuals who are making an impact in our community. I'm your host, Larry Laws. On today's segment of First Home Alliance, we have two special guests who are remarkable in their professions, and together they are doing incredible work in our community. They are rocking your block in an amazing way. Please welcome back to our show, Kay Smith of Pearson Smith Realty and founder of The Total Package. And for the first appearance, a special member of The Total Package, Jackie Fields Cladall of Atlantic Coast Mortgage. Today, welcome you guys and thanks for coming in. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Yes. Kay, what have you been up to? Oh my goodness. Um, well, <clears throat> I decided that I wanted to be a little bit more educated in some different programs so that I could help people. Mm -hmm. And so recently I became uh, certified in a military relocation specialist. Yes. Um, my family is, all of my family is military. Yes. So. Yes. And so with that certification, what are you going to be able to do now? Mm -hmm. what, what will you be able to provide? So that gives me access to the local bases. So mm -hmm. I basically go on a list. And so when they have someone that's either PCSing or, you know, leaving out and they need a, a real estate agent, I'll be on that list. So. You know, whereas before I didn't have that access, now I do. Yes. So, I mean, I, <clears throat> I've i known about it for a while, but I learned recently that there are a lot of military mm -hmm. uh, people that they don't understand their benefits. Right. Yes. Well, that's very good, and I'm quite sure we're going to have fun uh, uh, reaching out to the veterans. Absolutely. Yes, and uh, probably some more partnerships that we can do. Indeed. Yes. And uh, today, uh, our partner, uh, the Total Package, and uh, Jackie, uh, welcome. Thank you. Yes, and thank you for coming Happy out today. Happy to be here. Yes. Uh, how did you get started in the uh, lending world? Well, kind of a funny story. I was going to school to be a dental hygienist. Mm -hmm. And so while I was going to school, I know, different, um, <laughs> I started working part-time for a real estate settlement company. And during that process, I obviously met a lot of different real estate agents. And so they encouraged me, hey, why don't you get a real estate license? And so I thought, well, okay, maybe I'll try that. And so I did. And um, I really just enjoyed that piece of the business. And during that, I kind of segued into the mortgage banking business because what ended up happening is I really liked the numbers part. And so I really learned a lot about financing and things like that to where a local mortgage company reached out to me and said, hey, you ask all the right questions, you send us business, you know exactly what's going on, why don't you step over to this side of it? And so I thought about it, I interviewed with them, we kind of walked through all the various steps and I thought, well, okay, maybe there is a good fit here. And so that's what happened. So I started out as a realtor yes. and then moved in and bye-bye dental hygiene, you know, <laughs> I've been, <laughs> the rest is kind of history, right? Yes. So, and so what were some of the things that you did as a realtor that actually parlayed over to, uh, for you being a, uh, even a better lender? Well, I worked a lot um, with first time home buyers mm -hmm. at that point in time. And, you know, I've been a lender for many years. And when I first got into the business, there weren't a lot of different loan programs that were available. And there was a lot of just standardized financing, if you would. And so with working with first time home buyers, I was able to put together some new and different mm -hmm. ideas for financing. And I really just kind of got into figuring out ways to get people into homes. And so with okay. that, I kind of became a little bit of an expert. And I had other realtors even coming to me and saying, hey, you know, tell me about this. How are you doing this? Mm -hmm. And so that's kind of what led me to the mortgage side of it. Yes. Okay. And uh, what are some of the characteristics that you think that, uh, you know, that you have that really benefit in working with your clients? Well, I think, first off, you know, I can adapt to most different types of clients. So I work mm -hmm. a lot with entry level, people trying to get into their first home and helping them to understand ways that they can do that. And then, you know, in my business, I've had the um, opportunity to have move up buyers. And so I work with investors. I work with a lot of different types of, you know, buyers at various stages. Um, I think, you know, for me, it's more about really digging into their personal situation and trying to help them understand their options mm -hmm. and what's going to be best for them. Um, it's not just quoting an interest rate or saying, okay, here's your loan program. It's really talking to them and um, I don't want to say counseling with them, but really working with them to see where what their goals are, short-term, long-term goals, and then trying to figure out where their comfort level is. And so you really build a relationship and you become part of that team that's working with them to try to make sure that they get the very best of what they're looking for. 
Yes. Well, I, I'm quite sure we all, <coughs> as a member of the Total Package team, is glad that you are a member. Uh, Kay, what have you ran into in reference to some of your millennial buyers? Um, well, recently I had a conversation with my daughter um, who's currently renting. Mm -hmm. She pays $1,800 a month for a one-bedroom apartment. Okay. So we were just having a casual conversation. I said, hey, I said, you ever considered buying? And she said, well, I can't. I said, why not? She said, it's too expensive. Mm -hmm. And I thought, more expensive than what you're already paying? And she said, well, yeah. I said, well, who told you that? And she said, well, you know. I said, no, because I was trying to <laughs> figure out where she was getting her information right. from. And then she says, well, I'm too young. I said, says who? And then she says, well, it's too big of a commitment. I said, but you signed a two-year lease. You know, and I'm just trying to understand. I was like, if you have a valid reason, then I'm explaining. But she just, she's like, in her mind, it was too expensive. It costs more than renting. And so, like, later on that day, I had a conversation with her girlfriend. Similar thoughts. Wow. She's paying, what, $2,200 for rent. Has been for the last four years. Yes. And I was like, and you don't think you can buy? Hmm. So I'm finding out that my daughter and her friends, they, they're not the only one with that, you know, with that way of thinking of, I yes. can't afford it, or it's too big of a commitment. Mm -hmm. And while I understand that not everyone is ready to purchase, to me, if you are responsible enough and disciplined enough to pay that type of money for rent, then it's in your best interest to purchase. So that was um, something that I, you know, I, I knew it existed, but it was a little shocking to me to hear my own daughter say. Yes. So, you know, I've been trying to focus on basically educating mm -hmm. um, millennials and, and hearing their point of view and trying to, you know, figure out why they feel the way they feel and how I can better assist them so that they understand that it's not, it's not going to cost you any more. If anything, it's going to cost you less. That's correct. Yes. And Jackie, how important do you think education is into uh, becoming a homeowner? Education is key. Yeah. And, you know, it starts, it doesn't matter when you're thinking about buying. It's never too early to start the process of sitting down with your realtor, sitting down with your lender to start looking at what your options are and how you need to prepare yourself. Um, right. You know, I find that so many times, there's such a misconception, as mm -hmm. Kay was saying, because people just don't understand the process. As a young person, too, you're not trained about credit. You don't know um, the things that you need to prepare yourself for home ownership. And so consequently, you hear stories, you see things uh, online sometimes, and not everything is completely accurate for mm -hmm. your personal right. situation. So education is key. Absolutely. Communication, yes. education, getting your questions answered, having people show you things on paper, taking mm -hmm. the time to walk you through. Mm -hmm. Yes. And Kay, I think you uh, looked at it, uh, you're looking at uh, expanding and doing some work in that with the HDA educational program? I am. Um, I think that it's a wonderful program mm -hmm. and I think that there is a misconception behind that program and people just don't realize the benefits of it so I thought it would I would be best served if I became more educated in the program myself mm -hmm. so I'm currently actually taking classes on VHDA and I plan to become a trainer so that I can go out and educate people because I, I feel like you know again people don't know and they don't realize the programs and they they look on the internet or they Google it and like, oh, well, that's it. Right. Well, not so much, but <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> so I figured the best way I know how to help people is to come more educated in these programs myself. Yes. And then, you know, relay that information over to them and provide them the resources they need so that if they're going to make a decision, they can make an informed decision. Correct. Yes. And Jackie, have, uh, what did you have, are you experiencing out there when you're doing your seminars or educating in the community? I think really it's just people are amazed that oftentimes they think they need a down payment. They think they need a large amount of money down or they've had credit challenges and they think that they can't get a mortgage and they're finding out that that's just not true. There are so many great loan options mm -hmm. available. Um, there's so many ways to help people rebuild their credit and um, show them ways that they can do and steps that they need to take to put themselves into a position. Um, you know, Kay mentioned VHDA. There's wonderful loan programs out there. VHDA is one of them. USDA is another program mm -hmm. that we do. Um, you know, we have FHA. We work with our veterans. Um, and so people can actually buy a home with zero money down. Yes. And, um, you know, they can get help with closing costs and things like that. And people are amazed when they find that out because sometimes people think they need a 20% down payment, and that's just not true. Very seldom do people put 20% down, mm -hmm. and it's very, it's hard, you know, to save that kind of money, so especially when you're a first-time buyer. So, you know, it's just making mm -hmm. sure that people are aware that there are programs 
and that they can qualify for them. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to talk more about um, you know partnering and uh, team building mm -hmm. and educating our communities and uh, more about the total package coming up. Okay. All right. Uh, we're about to take a short break, but before we go, I would like to remind you that we are First Home Alliance. Well, our First Home Alliance is a HUD approved housing counseling agency serving the national capital area. If you are a first time home buyer or a homeowner in need of mortgage assistance, please visit the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development website to find a HUD approved agency in your area. We'll be right back after the break. Stay tuned. Welcome back. You're watching Rock Your Block, and I'm your host, Larry Laws of First Home Alliance. And if you're just now tuning in, we are joined today with two members of the Total Package, founder Kay Smith of Pearson Smith Realty and Jacketville Glidall of Atlantic Coast Mortgage. Before the uh, break, we was talking mm -hmm. about um, educating and educating the uh, potential first-time home buyers. Mm -hmm. And so um, what are some of the things that you're seeing with um, maybe some people that are already homeowners that maybe would have been prevented if they would have went through the edu uh, home buyer education prior to purchasing? Have you seen anything in the field with that? Well, I'm finding out that, you know, there are a lot of people that, they, honestly, they just didn't have the education. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they're finding out after the fact that, you know, hey, there was this grant available or there was this um, this program available to, uh, available to me or you know had I just waited I could have used this I um, I've worked with people that are veterans and did not use their VA benefits yeah. because for whatever reason they thought oh well this loan type is better and they just simply didn't realize that the VA loan product is a really <laughs> good loan product Correct. and it's amazing how many soldiers just aren't aware of that I mean there are a lot of people that don't use it. Yes, and it's something that they have uh, earned. And Absolutely. So definitely it's the best loan product, I, th I feel, for them. Yes, and uh, Jackie, with um, refinancing, have you seen individuals that actually refinance but still might, may not understand uh, the ins and outs about the mortgage? I think that's true, both purchase and refinance, actually, too. But with refinances especially, because people oftentimes thinks, think that it costs a lot of money to refinance, mm -hmm. a lot of times you can roll your cost in or you can you know, figure out different ways to offset some of your cost with refinancing. A lot of people, too, will... Um, you know, we look at debt restructuring sometimes with refinancing, and people have things that they're planning for down the road, and so there's reasons to refinance. And sometimes there's not a reason to refinance, and so we instruct them on that, and we show them maybe why it's not a good decision to refinance. You know, yes. not always is just lowering your rate the best decision to make. You really have to look at, you know, lots of different things involved, and um, so sometimes, you know, we're telling them, no, don't refinance. Yes. Um, you know, to kind of piggyback on Kay a little bit, I think, you know, our team concept, I guess, or whatever, is to try to take the stress out of the transaction. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what I see when I talk to people. You know, I'll hear sometimes about their experience on their previous home that they bought. And, you know, it'll be, gosh, we wish we'd done this, or something that didn't go quite right, mm -hmm. and they were less than satisfied with that. And so consequently, you know, working with 
a good team of people, getting that education up front, understanding the process. I mean, even with lending, we ask for a lot of documents. Yes. And if we let them know up front why we're asking for those documents and prepare them, then it's not a surprise. Mm -hmm. And then we're able to work and, you know, they're preparing themselves ahead of time to get that to us. Um, yes. Understanding the contract and what you're agreeing to in your contract. Oh, you know, there's so many mm -hmm. things that we, as a group, as a team, will educate them so that they feel like when they find that right home or, you know, and they decide to make that move, all of this is taken care of already. So they can make that decision with confidence, too, and feel like, you know, it's okay to move forward because we've already walked them through each of the steps with the finance part, with the real estate part, and they understand the process. Yes. And Kate, you know, being the real estate agent, I think a lot that the real estate agent being the first uh, person that they come to a lot because mm -hmm. you, you guys do a great job of marketing mm -hmm. and outreach. And so when they come in reference to the team that they actually need to uh, continue down this process to be a successful homeowner, uh, can you talk to them about that team that they should uh, put together? Well, you know, I introduce them to the team of people that I work with. So on that team, it's one, Jackie's on that team. I have, um, you know, home warranty. That's Donna Smith. I have Katie Solomon, who's with Champion, mm -hmm. uh, Champion Title. Uh, Robin Gephardt, who was she was here at our last session. Yes. Um, so sometimes, I, you know, I use her if I'm, if my caseload is too heavy and I just need another agent to help me. Then Robin is my go-to on that. Uh, Terry, who's with My Guys Movers, because if you're buying a house, you're going to need a mover. Mm -hmm. And he's awesome. He's personable. And what we strive on is nothing Nothing feels commercial. Mm -hmm. I mean, we understand that it's a transaction, but it's very mm -hmm. personal. You're buying a home. Your emotions are tied into it. So I align myself with people that, that have the same, you know, we all have that same concept on how we want to take care of these um, these clients that come in so I try my best to make sure that they're with someone that they all have that patience yes and honestly we in our own right we we all sit in different professions but we're all counselors as well because mm -hmm. it's very emotional I mean I get yes. calls all the time oh my goodness the lender sent this long list of things I need because sometimes they look at the documents and they get overwhelmed yes and they don't realize this is standard business Stand, mm -hmm. you know it's not as bad as you think, and I'm like, oh my goodness, well, she's asking for this, 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 and this, and they simply don't understand, you know, this is what's required if you want to get a mortgage, and we really have to walk people through because, you know, it's, it's tough when you're, you're meeting someone and you're giving them all of your personal information. Correct. So we, we literally have to walk them through and make them feel comfortable about the process. So it is important that they are you know, um, educated on it. And it's important that we explain the stages because otherwise you get someone that is reluctant or you get someone that has a, a credit issue and right. they won't tell you and then you run the credit and it's like, surprise, <laughs> <laughs> you didn't mention this. Yes. And it's not necessarily a problem, but if we know about it, we can address it sooner rather than later because you don't want it to become a problem mm -hmm. on the other end and then you're frantically trying to make sure that you can close. So. Yes. It's, it really is about educating and making sure that the clients are well informed about the process from start to finish. Okay. And you mentioned this team and you, uh, you put together a team here, the, the total package. Can you talk to us a little bit more of, uh, in reference to when you formed this team? Mm -hmm. Why did you choose the partners that you have uh, on that team? Oh, that's easy. Um, <laughs> I mean, aside from the fact that they're just an awesome group of people, mm -hmm. um, most people will look at their credentials and you know how, how many years of experience they have, uh, but that's not what I looked at because I know people that have tons of experience, mm -hmm. and I would choose not to work with them. I chose this particular group of people because of who they are, their yeah. passion, their want, their genuine need to want to help someone because that's what it takes. If you're going to help someone through a, uh, a transaction and you want them to understand what they're doing, then you need someone that genuinely cares about it. Mm -hmm. So I chose this group because they care. Okay. All right. And Jackie, how do you feel working with the team of um, professionals that uh, with the total package? Well, first off, I feel honored and privileged that Kay reached out and asked me to become part of the team. She explained the vision and what she was trying to put together and the concept behind it. And, you know, that just spoke to me um, because our business truly is all about helping people. And when you align yourself with the right people and you work together as a team, then the results, you know, are great for your clients and the people that we serve. And so um, it does take each one of us. And, you know, I'll speak to you a little bit, Larry, because 
you know, very often I'll get somebody and they know they're not in a position to buy. They understand they've already got some credit challenges and things like that. But the service that you provide will help me. So you're the first step to get them into mm -hmm. some counseling and educating and showing them how to help repair that credit and you know maybe rebuild their credit. Um, you know we always want to understand that anybody can buy, right? Correct. But not everyone wants to invest the time. And this group of people truly want to invest the time to help people. And so you know I love the fact that your company, your agency, can work with people help them get mortgage ready and then kind of turn them back over to us so that then we can take it from there. So if we have a situation, it's like I know who I can turn to. Yes. If there's something that somebody's asking me about the property, then I can say, well, you know, our home inspector or, you know, if there's a title issue. So we have all of our go-to people mm -hmm. in a group of professionals, like-minded, very positive oriented. We all kind of, um, are, I think our values mm -hmm. are very complementary of each other. And it just makes a huge difference, for yes. sure. Yes, and so I see that we uh, that, uh, one of the concepts here is to go and empower uh, individuals with yes. this knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you know, prior to them stepping out there on their own, uh, what are some of the uh, agencies uh, that you would like to uh, take this total concept, this to, to deliver this education model to? I don't know so much if it's a particular agency. I do know that we are we are currently. Our goal is to extend the reach of the total package. Mm -hmm. um, we want to get in front of as many people, as many companies as we possibly can, um, because not every company can afford the relocation service. Correct. But this provides their employee with the same benefit at no value, well, at no expense to the employer. So right now we are currently kind of going through a process of where we are trying to market to uh, these companies and just various people across the board. Because um, again, our goal is to help as many people as possible. And, you know, hopefully, um, you know, it only takes one. Correct. And figure if we do a good enough job, it'll work itself out. And then, you know, word of mouth is a beautiful thing. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know, I just, you know, me individually, I mean, I, I am going to educate myself as much as I can. Mm -hmm. I know my team will do the same thing. And if that means I have to go out and volunteer for this, volunteer for that, speaking of volunteering, your services, okay. you know, <laughs> whatever well, I can do well, definitely what I can. Yes. <laughs> to bring awareness yes. to the total package is what I'm going to do because I want people to know that we're here. Yes. You know, and if you, if you need to know something or if you need, if you have questions, you know, a lot of times we can't help you right now. You're not ready right now, but you really should look into, you should prepare yourself as, as soon as possible. I mean, I know people that, um, I have clients that I work with that they're a year out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. And honestly, and, and, it's, and they are the better for it because you don't want to go into that situation you know, thinking that you're really ready to roll in and, right. and be told what well, you needed to prepare. Okay. Yep. Well, I want to tell you guys, thank you. Thanks for being a part of the Total Package. Thanks mm -hmm. for being a partner of the Total Package. Thanks for being a member of the Total Package. And thanks for coming on the Rock Your Block uh, for some online segment and sharing that information. And uh, as you continue to grow and do more in the community, I want to bring you back and so they can share with the, uh, our audience on the things that the Total Package is doing. Thank right. you for having us. Right. Thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this interview and was amazed by our guest, Kay Smith, with the Total Package and Jackie Phil Gladall of Atlantic Coast Mortgage. For more information, reach out to them both at their emails or just give them a phone call. Now it's time to check our inbox to see how we can help rock your block. This is where we share a recent question sent to us from you, our viewing audience, about financial stability and housing. Today's question comes from Arlington, Virginia. I paid off my credit card and closed the account. Why did my credit score drop? Hmm. If you're trying to maintain good credit, paying off your credit card is a good thing. However, by closing the account, it lowered your available credit and increased your debt to credit limit ratio. That case, it's okay to pay it off if that's what you're doing, maintaining your credit, but leave the credit card open and use it periodically. It is recommended that you do not use more than 30% of your available credit to get the best impact on your score. I am Larry Laws of First Home Alliance, and it has been my pleasure sharing with you our mission and highlighting people in our community that are impacting our community. 
If you have questions about financial fitness or how we can help make your dream of homeownership a success, send your question to our inbox and tune in to our next show to see if your question was selected to be shared with our audience. You can get more information about our services by visiting our website. Thank you for watching today's segment of First Soma Lines and join us next time to rock your block. Glad to know that you know some of this stuff about like I don't know credit and buying houses is like written down somewhere. A lot of the times it's always hearsay, like other friends or family members who have bought houses before, but they can never you know tell you legit what you need to get done and do before buying a house. I definitely think this class should be required for all first home buyers because um, a lot of times the real estate agent doesn't explain the process to you. So I think this is very important. Uh, it's from the credit up to receiving a loan. And the most important thing is the process that you go through when you're buying the house. And there are a lot of process which you don't have idea about that before you take this class. The speakers who came up and spoke about each section, they were very knowledgeable in their field and I felt like they it was relatable. They didn't just throw out a whole bunch of terms that went over my head, but they really explained it in in a way to where I uh, understood it and I could even explain it to my children and it was even easier for me to take home and kind of remember and, and process and, and apply to my next steps. Um, the process was amazing. They start first with a class before even finding a lender or agent. So I did all that and I wasn't able to purchase and then I was like, oh, you know what, there's a lot of information I'm not aware of. Let me just start from the beginning to put everything on hold. Piecing the information together because you've heard things from about the loans and about this and about the credit, but this is like a summary and it just gives a clear flow of where to go with what you have and kind of building up a plot. So that kind of gives me a whole picture of where I needed to go and how to get there.